In this video, I'm going to be setting up my cargo basket that I purchased in the clearance section at Walmart for about 30 bucks and will mount either to the roof rack or trailer hitch with the included receiver bar. On the trailer hitch, the cargo basket has a weight limit of 500 pounds, but I'm going to be mounting it to my roof rack, which will give me a 150 pound weight limit. To do this, I'm going to use a pair of quick fist grips that I'm going to mount onto the top rail, which will hold my bully tool shoulder. To mount the quick fist grips, I'm just going to use a couple conduit hangers that I'm going to paint black first just for the aesthetic of it. I'm just using a simple Rust-Oleum paint primer mix and I'm going to put a few coats on each. Okay, once the paint is dry, I'm going to attach the quick fist grips to the conduit hangers and bolt them onto the cargo basket. Now that the shovel's mounted, I'm ready to start the conduit, which will hold the side lights and wiring. The first thing that I'm going to do is measure from the outside of the front mount to the outside of the back mount, which is about 5 feet. Now I'm going to cut a quarter inch piece of CPVC piping to this length. I'm also going to cut a 1 inch piece, which will connect the two elbow joints. Next, I'm going to want to drill the holes to run the wires that will power the lights. I'm going to mount the lights next to the mounting brackets on the basket. I want to be sure I'm only going halfway through the CPVC pipe. With that done, I'm going to connect the two elbow joints and cut another piece of CPVC at roughly 5 inches, which will be trimmed down later. Now that the CPVC has been cut to size, I'm going to throw a couple coats of paint on it using the same Rust-Oleum paint. With the paint dry, I'm going to drill four holes all the way through the five-foot section above the holes I drilled earlier for the wires. Next, I want to feed the wire from hole to hole until it comes out the end. Now, you'll notice I do have one end cap on the five-foot section which has been sealed because this will not be removable. Okay, with that done, I'm ready to add the lights. I'm installing 420 lumen lights I purchased off of eBay for about $7 and one penny a pair. First, I'm going to connect the wires and feed the excess into the conduit and attach the light. Now I'll repeat this process with the other three. Once that's done, I'm going to remove the nut and washer on all four, seal the holes for the lights and wires with the JB water well and tighten everything back up.
with that done, I'm going to cut off and grind down the excess bolts. Then I'm going to coat everything one more time in Plasti Dip just to ensure everything is watertight and sealed. After that, I'm going to wire up a plug which can slide into the conduit and then be capped so when it's not connected to the battery box, it'll still be watertight. Next, I'm going to run the wires through the elbow joints and connect the 5 inch CPVC piece and then the mounting bracket for the battery box. Then plug the wires in and push the CPVC together. At this point, I'm going to set up the mounts for the battery and storage boxes. I'm just using a simple U-bolt, four for each box. The first thing I'm going to do is mark where I want to drill my holes. I'm going to drill a total of eight holes on the bottom of each box. With that done, I'm going to insert rubber grommets into each hole. This should help keep water out and allow for a little bit of movement while I'm on rough roads or off-road. Next, I'm going to connect the battery box where it'll be mounted while it's in use. Then I'm going to use plastic zip ties to connect the light conduit so I can line up the connection and run the wires from the lights to the battery box. Now I want to measure the distance from the elbow joint to the battery box and trim down the 5 inch CPVC piece. Once that's done, I'm going to mark where I want to drill the hole in the battery box. Then I'm going to drill a hole for the wires and a hole for the waterproof switch. While installing the switch, I'm using a rubber washer and a JB water well to seal the hole. I'm then going to use the same process to attach the bracket that the wires from the lights will run through. Okay, with that done, I'm going to attach the boxes using the U-bolts. It's important to note that I'm placing the bolts on the inside of the box. With the boxes padlocked, it'll just make it that much harder for someone to steal. With the boxes attached, it's time to thread the wires into the battery box and connect the elbow joint. Then I'm going to connect the wires from the lights to the battery and switch. The positive wire is being connected straight to the battery and the negative will go into the switch and then back out to the negative on the battery. I'm using metal zip ties to attach the light conduit to the cargo basket and I'll then cut off the plastic zip ties. So there we have it. We have our four external lights wired to a 35 amp hour battery and we have a separate storage container. We got our shovel in case we get stuck.
Now eventually what I'm going to do is add a solar panel on the top that will keep the battery charged. But that will be a project for another time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to be sure you're notified of upcoming videos.